We're back to work today, working on our goat project. One of the big things today is doing some dirt work before we can get to work on the structure itself. There's kind of like a terrace to the dirt right here. We're going to be getting Nubian and goats and the plan is to get anywhere from like two to three females and one male. It's kind of one of those things we're gonna decide as we go, but probably all in all, we'll end up with around four goats. At this point, to continue our dirt work back here, we need to go ahead and dismantle this lean-to area. This is the goat shelter. And this all needs to be re redone anyway because the bottom of it is kind of rotted out, that wall there. The roof itself, the metal on it, is just like a bunch of scrap pieces of metal here and there, whatever. We also want to extend this out like another foot because we can put an eight foot sheet of metal on it. And of course the inside of our shed, we're going to retrofit for like the milk stand and the hay and all that kind of thing. We're trying to preserve as many of these boards that we're removing as possible because there's so much work that needs to be done and we'll be able to use them in so many other places. I didn't really see it until after I already tossed it. We got the whole wall of the shed dismantled. We think we're gonna go ahead and dismantle the roof and get this done. <laughs> She's like, congratulations, you did it. Good job, huh? <laughs> we had to come back down and fill Kaja's water because I spilled it. And she's like five months old now, but she's starting to go through this phase of kind of being a scaredy cat and super clingy. But I thought while we were down here, we would check on the babies and mama. Glenn is starting the rest of the demo, so we better get down there. <laughs> Breathing this nasty ancient dirt. <laughs> ancient dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Kaja taking a little break because it's really starting to heat up. We actually got lucky for most of the day and it was pretty mild and almost kind of cool at times. We've had like this thick smog or whatever from the Canadian wildfire smoke coming down on us, but it's kind of like starting to clear now, so it's always starting to heat up. Glenn finished demolishing the lean-to, and so now we're gonna get to work on clearing up the rest of the debris and stuff that's left behind from when we were clearing the power line right away and stuff like that, because that's where we're gonna be running our fence. God, you're still not so sure about that chainsaw. Oh, 
One thing that is nice is the biting flies have died down a lot. This year was the worst year I have ever seen them. It was hard to do anything outside, but it's gotten a lot better now. And usually that's how it is. It lasts for like a month or so. We still have all this mess to clean up from where Glenn took the roof off and finished dis dismantling all this. And then we have these boards over here that we've been saving. We gotta move all that. There's always work to be done before you actually work. <laughs> It is so hot and muggy now. It has been a long day. I think we're both getting pretty tired and it's amazing just how much work demolishing something is but we still have more cleanup to do before we can call it a day but just the sight of some progress is really encouraging poor Kaja I think she is just exhausted you've had a busy day huh puppy not even one nap today. Somebody's gonna sleep really good tonight. Come on. Many more will come. Many more under the sun. Pack your finest suit. We will keep it steady. We will be the confetti. If we fail, we just reboot. As I was putting the chickens up, I discovered that in three of the nesting boxes, at least, there's definitely egg yolk in them. So confirmed, we have an egg eater. And I was already suspicious that we did. And I had put a camera in there several times and never really caught anything. But I had at least three hens that I was sus suspecting that was the egg eater. And I was on the verge of isolating those to try to rule out the egg eater. Oh, I need that flashlight. But then we started getting a decent amount of eggs again, and I kind of put dealing with the problem off. But obviously now I can't because we're not getting any eggs and they're definitely eating them. I'm gonna start isolating the suspects one by one into a chicken tractor, and hopefully they'll lay eggs in there. I'll have to pay attention that they do, and then see which one or ones is eating the eggs. And then those, or that chicken will be called so tonight marks the beginning of the elimination process. I'm pretty certain that the egg eater is one of the four five year old hens that we have. All right, I'm gonna get her some food and water and we'll see what happens and you know, this kind of stuff is the unpleasant side to homesteading where you have to make tough decisions and can't have something eating her eggs, so. It is what it is. We'll see who the culprit is. <laughs>